Welcome back to Mojo Group. I'm Mike. Today is my first flight in the year 2023. I'm flying out this winter morning to our flight school in North Carolina. And today is such a happy day for me because I get to shake the hands of all of our new students. It's about 8 a.m. and hopefully I'll be wheels up by 8.30. Good morning, everybody. Mike here. It's been, uh, this is, today is one of my, uh, I would say one of my happiest days flying. This is actually my first flight for the, for the new year. And I'm heading to, uh, to our flight school today. And it's, it's surreal because today we're, we're starting our, today's inaugural day for our, our students, our full-time students who are training from zero all the way to commercial. So this is like. I'm just, I woke up this morning just feeling happy because we've been working hard on this for the last couple of months and for it to actually be happening right now, it's it's pretty amazing. So, uh, going to be out there all day. Uh, can't wait to shake those hands. And uh, we're flying out of Gwinnett County Airport today. We have some, uh, some mists to worry about. Hello? And once we, we climb over, then should we clear the sun is out. Ground, right. So then should she, she, she get right, ground. better. I'm over here, I'm going to looking to get over but, to uh, ATP. We'll see. Oh, we've been giving instructions to tax. Uh, Skyhawk 236. Echo here. So you see the sun to the south. Here. The uh, yeah, Grenade Ground. Skyhawk 23605 at the flight school. Uh, with India, we'd like to remain for patterns for touch and, and go. I'm looking at my, just gonna keep an eye, like I said, on, on the weather here. Um, and I checked the weather before I, I obviously got in the airplane. And there are some, uh, some clouds, but they're clearing out. And uh, good enough, I've got my Sirius XM here as well, which I'll use for sure today. Um, once I'm in the air to see what's in my path. So what I'm worrying about mainly is again the visibility and then also uh, mountain obscurity. Now given that I'm, I I've traveled this route multiple times, at least I know where the mountains are, I know how high they are. They are more to the north side and I'm going to be more east than north. So and by the time I get to even the nearest mountain. I'm, Thanks, we're getting something. You can turn along, please. I'm over 5,000 or 6,000 feet. So, which is good, good distance above the mountains. But those are the things to look out for today. Um, hoping for a safe and, and smooth flight. And you guys stay tuned. Today is a great day. Uh, just, just joyful today. And Happy New Year to everybody that I haven't wished Happy New Year yet. Stay tuned for the flight. We've checked the weather, but the only concern I have is possible mists or maybe some clouds as I'm climbing out of here. But no worries, we've got turbo. Turbo 661, Mike, go for that turn, turn right northeast, runway 25, clear for takeoff. 25, clear for takeoff, right northeast, one, my golf. Turn left 32, Delta, landing every 3, speed, pass on risk, traffic departing the runway. 232, Delta, whiskey, landing, pass on risk. Air speed's alive, all green. Traffic. Going. Tower 23675, winning. Terror in our left traffic, runway 25, clear for takeoff. Last traffic, clear for takeoff, runway 25675. Alright, flaps up. Morning Tower, Supercab 10341, holding short 25, ready for departure to the north. Supercab 10341, we're at Tower, hold short runway 25 for spacing. Hold short 25, Cab 10341. Trying to get over those 
misty clouds here. That's the beautiful thing about having turbo. You get over things real fast. So I'm climbing at a good thousand feet a minute while I'm climbing here. Or while I'm turning here, so. Climbing out of here, doing a thousand feet per minute minimum. As you can see, I was able to climb over the mist in a matter of seconds. So we'll continue our flight plan here, continue my climb. And once I get to my cruise altitude at 9,500, I'll give approach a call. All right, 3,500 feet. Keep our climb going here. So like I said, the only other thing to be concerned about, we've got the mountains. And I know the closest mountain is about 4,000 feet or so. And we're already over that. Nice and clear up here. Number 675, runway 25, clear to touch and go. All right, 4,800. Tower, Delta is 10 miles to the uh, southwest, inbound full stop with India. I was so within Gwinnett Aerospace, so. Number 675, are you full stop, touch and go? Touch and go, 675. Number 675, runway 25, clear to touch and go. All right, 5,500. Still climbing at 1,000. 200 feet per minute. Side of a mile left base, runway 25, number 2 for the runway, clear to land number 2. 7,000. 2,500 to go. 1,500 to go. Zero Golf Hotel, 5 heading 090. 090 on the heading, Zero Golf Hotel. good morning, November 661, my golf. 500 to go. See a few big jets around. Number seven Gulf here, just an amazing four thousand. Four thousand seven Gulf here. Right, we're gonna have to hold on. All right, pull power back. Let's level off. Aircraft calling Atlanta for five following. You're coming in broken city in your call sign. That's November six six one. My Gulf. Good morning. Very smooth and calm up here. And although we've got some mountains to the north side, we're well over the top of those mountains. And that was 661 Mike Golf calling. That's right, 661 Mike Golf flight to request a flight following to Kilo Indian, uh, November Tango. 661 Mike Golf, say again your uh, type aircraft and request. That's Experimental Slink TSI. Um, I'd like to request five following to Kilo, India, November Tango, just about 10 miles northeast of Gwinnett County Airport at 9,500. 6 Romeo Delta, contact B Street Tower 120.9er. Florida Tower, 6 Romeo Delta. Terminal 12, climb and maintain 9,000. 9,000, Corona 12. Number 661, Mike Golf, block 5136. 5136 for one mic off. Okay, we've got our flight following. Now we just cruise all the way to North Carolina. We've got about an hour and 30 minutes. As I said, today's flight is so surreal because I'm getting to meet some of our full time students for the first time. These are pilot babies, literally have zero hours, but they're coming in today to jumpstart their pilot career. We'll train them in our modern aircraft from zero all the way to commercial pilot. If you'd like to learn more about our flight program, it's all available on lookupflightacademy.com. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are now squared out at uh, 9,500 feet, which is actually the sweet spot for this airplane. And we don't have much tailwind here. We've got maybe some uh, five knots of good tailwind, but it's pretty smooth up here. See, we still got some uh, clouds below us. And so far, uh, my uh, my on my track there, I'm expecting some clouds, which I'm gonna use my. Uh, I'm gonna use my in-flight weather here with Sirius XM to stay on top of that. As you see here, I can check the tops for uh, for the clouds, but also just in general what's going on. I don't. I didn't anticipate any type of stormy stuff today, and if something were to jump out on me, this is 
the right place to check it. So as you can see on my radar weather here, there's pretty much nothing. There's some moisture around, but it's much further out. So nothing to worry about there. Our winds aloft. So I already checked the wind, so I'm good. So pretty, pretty uh, okay here. Let's see if I can zoom into this. Let's get some tops here. Yeah, so you see all this shaded area. But uh, I think we should be good. All right, our ETA is an hour and 30, an hour 29 minutes. Uh, hopefully we get some extra tailwinds. But uh, just enjoy the flight. So far, so good. Still in smooth air up here. And we're getting close to our class Bravo. I hope I'm able to get a transition through it at 9,500. 